Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we have a complete overhaul of RDR2 that actually lets you play as a lawman. This mod is called RDR FR, otherwise known as Red Dead Redemption First Responder. You can have shootouts with bandits, hunt down outlaws, and walk the streets with the badge on your chest. This is a complete overhaul turning your character into a law-abiding police officer. There are multiple police precincts which you'll find in places such as Saint Denis. You have one in Rhodes, Valentine, and of course a few others as well. At these police stations, you can go on duty. And once you're on duty, it's time to cruise the streets. Eventually citizens in need will come up to you asking for help. If you choose to accept, you'll be sent on a mission to help them out. And there are a wide variety of scenarios that you could encounter, such as transporting prisoners to other towns, investigation type missions, and even some missions you'd never expect. An example of another mission would be a kidnapping. So this citizen just ran up to us and told us about a kidnapping nearby. So now it's your duty to solve the crime. You're also able to recruit fellow lawmen to come assist you and provide backup. And if you don't want to just cruise the street waiting for action, you are able to press a hotkey to immediately receive a mission. Now there are additional add-ons you could add to this RDRFR mod, which allows you to basically unlock even more scenarios. And you basically have four different options, which will add a lot of variety. You can add one or all of them to really enhance your experience and give you some more variety. These additional mods are called Basic, Wild West, Sneaky, and Chaos Callouts. You have all new missions such as pickpocketing or even full on bank robberies. And you can't go wrong adding a bit of flavor into your gameplay. You gotta keep the crooks off the street, right? And once you've arrested your suspect, you can request transport. And once you've done that, an officer will show up and take your prisoner back to the station. That's one less criminal on the streets. Now in order to give us even more opportunities to take out the bad guys, as an officer of the law, we've added bandit hideouts, which adds 105 different bandit hideouts for you to basically have unlimited shootouts with. This mod also adds ambushes into the world ambiently, and this mod is highly configurable. You're able to choose what games you see, or even dictate the amount of bandits that you encounter. These bandit hideouts regen over time as well, so you have the opportunity to replay your favorite hideouts over and over again. Paired with this, we have a mod called Ambient Gangs, and this adds even more gangs into RDR2 for you to shoot. There are a few gangs you're familiar with as well, added directly from RDR1, which will help to give you even more variation playing as a lawman. The Ambient Gangs will even fight each other if they run into each other, so it doesn't feel like they're just gunning for you. These two mods will basically give you unlimited gameplay and shootouts, and there's no way you can't have fun with it. Moving on, you can't really be a lawman without looking intimidating. That's why we've added the Giga Arthur mod. This mod makes Arthur look like he's been doing the bro split and eating plenty of venison. This is probably the Arthur muscle overhaul to go with, or at least it's my favorite because it's compatible with the tattoo mods if you plan on adding those as well. We've also added a rifle holster mod, and this time we've opted for the slim version. So the rifle equipped directly on that back slot will now have a minimalistic strap securing it to Arthur. And speaking about weapons, we've added the realistic metal gun work mod, which gives the gun metals in RDR2 a more realistic look. So if you don't want your guns to stand out as much as the shiny gun metal rework, you can try out this version to see how you like it. Now last but not least is the smoking complete mod, which allows you to smoke any time that you want. So with the simple tap of a hotkey, you can pull out a cigarette or a cigar and smoke them. This does passively regenerate your dead eye as well. So it's not just a cosmetic mod, but actually a mod that will help you in game as well. You're even able to light one up as you deliver justice to some bad guys, which is actually pretty cool. You're able to hold it in your hands and have Arthur ambiently smoke your cigarette. Or if you hold the hotkey a little bit longer, he'll just stick it in his mouth and it'll rest there. This is definitely a mod I will be keeping in my list just because it's so smooth. And it has some in-game benefits as well. If you've never tried playing on the good side of the law in RDR2, definitely give RDRFR a try. It is definitely a great time and you have the infinite potential for fun. If you've enjoyed this mod showcase, feel free to like and subscribe. We still have many more mods to showcase and some pretty cool mod lists that I'm cooking up. Until then though, we'll see ya. Yeah.